Welcome to Vero Update. It's all about humanity. Please do subscribe to our channel. How we withdraw and spend dead people's money, bank manager. No one is praying to die unexpectedly but the obvious truth is that people die unexpectedly every day. As you leave your house, it's only God that knows whether you will make it home alive or not. We are not praying for the worst but we need to let at least one person in our family especially wife or children to know all the secrets of our bank accounts, ATM kings and everything they need to know in order to withdraw money from our accounts in case something happens. This is the confession and warnings from a bank manager. After watching this video, share to your husband or wife or children of the assets and money you have in bank accounts. Wives also inform your husbands. This is the warnings from a female bank manager. While talking with a female bank manager she made a scary revelation to me. She told me how Nigerian bank vaults are filled with monies of dead men who kept their bank accounts secret from their wives. She explained it was against bank ethics or policies for an account officer to inform the relatives of a deceased customer of his account without his permission. And since the man is dead without giving his permission the bank dubiously keeps silence on the money. She told me it is rampant among many businessmen, even the Christians. She revealed many instances of dead men whose families are still suffering even though they have millions stashed in their secret accounts. She mentioned one that happened few months back. The man died and the wife was crying all over the place, looking for money to bury him or even do his funeral. Whereas the man had nothing less than 60 million naira in his accounts. The banker said it got to a stage that she could no longer bear it, her conscience was pummeling her. She had to go against her bank rules, and got in contact with the widow and revealed to the woman how much her husband had in his accounts and how to claim them. She also told of another story of one man who escaped death but his right hand was paralyzed. He couldn't sign his checkbook with his left hand and he was in a desperate situation that needed him to sign papers and checks. That was how he learned his own lesson the hard way. As soon as he got better, he immediately made his wife co-signatory to all his accounts and involved her in all his businesses. What if he had died? So, that was how his family would have suffered in the midst of plenty. This stupid behavior is not reserved for wealthy men alone, even paupers who earn little to have their own complex issues. I just read on the wall of an Igbo group where a man complained of how his friend refused to release his ATM pin number to his wife even though there was an emergency at home, and his ATM was at home. Many orphans and widows that are suffering today are put in that condition by their stupid dead father. Women and retirees are not left out, someone told me how a relative of hers died and none of her relatives knew where all her properties scattered all over the world are. Not even one house. Not even a dime in her accounts. If you knew billions unclaimed in banks belonging to selfish dead people, you would weep. Banks and bankers grow fat on these oaths. Please do the needful now that you still have the breath to do so, of course tomorrow is pregnant and only God knows what it will deliver. A word is enough for the wise daddy and mommy. What is your opinion on this?
Does your family know all your accounts and how to withdraw money from them in case something happens? Don't forget like and share to others. A word is enough for the wise. Please like, comment and share our videos. And above all do subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Thank you.